Hey everyone, uh, it's Matt Wong here, and I just wanted to show you a really quick thing because Live 11 just came out. Uh, congrats to the Ableton team for this awesome bit of software. Uh, really love some of the new features, and uh, yeah, it's really sweet. Now, as a composer, I really, 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 really <laughs> rely on Rewire. Uh, because sometimes I'll be using Logic just because there's some really nice time code features or whatever, you know, in terms of syncing. Um, and then, yeah, there's a lot of reasons that one might want to use Rewire. But if you've opened Live already with your normal Rewire host application, you might notice that it might not work by default. Uh, so are we all screwed? Is uh, Rewire support finally gone? Well, sort of. It's, uh, I mean, Rewire's kind of been... Um, discontinued, I think, by Propellerhead, and that really is unfortunate. But there is a workaround here. So you're going to want to go to your Finder, and you're going to go to Go, and then Library. You go over here and look up Preferences, Ableton, and, wow, well, you're going to see I've had a lot of versions of Ableton over the years, but you're going to go down to your current version of Live, and in this case, Live 11.0 for me, and uh, I have a thing here that says Options.Text. If you don't have that, you can just open up a text.edit file or whatever, text edit, and you can make a, uh, a .text file. And I've got some things here, like one is enable arm on selection. So when I go to a track, um, if I have like a bass over here, for instance, uh, I can play it and then I can go to a different track and go to the piano and it automatically uh, arms it uh, for record. So that's what enable arm on selection is. So... The bigger one, though, is this, enable rewire, dash, enable rewire, and you want to copy that down exactly and then save that in your options.txt file. It will be right there, and then you close live and you close your rewire host, and it should work. Uh, I think a thing to keep in mind is that with this kind of workaround, that means that they might not be supporting rewire in 12 at all, you know? So uh, it might be worth looking into other options, or hopefully the Ableton team might consider throwing in some time code features into live uh, for us media composers. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bittersweet thing, but having said that, I think Live 11 is really, really nifty. Uh, love a lot of the new features, uh, so don't be discouraged to update. Just know that there's this little thing you have to do involving options.txt. Uh, but yeah, hope this was helpful, and uh, yeah, Hope you have a great day and enjoy making music in Live 11. Peace, everybody.